We just spoke with a former student, Aletza Medic. She actually walked down the hall with the accused shooter, Nicholas Cruz, after she heard shots fired. She said, hey, Nicholas, this is what she told me on camera. We will have it for a 10 o'clock show. She said, hey, I just heard shots fired. I'm surprised it wasn't you. Just kidding like that. And he had this reaction, what? And then they parted ways. She said, I heard more shots after that. She thinks there was a second shooter. There was obviously definitely another shooter involved, but. Oh, you think he was not the only one? No, definitely not. Why do you say that? Um, because when shots were fired, I saw him after the fact. So, and the shots were coming from the other part of the building. So there definitely had to be two shooters involved, I believe. Thursday, the 15th day of February, 2018, I'm your host, Alex Jones. We're going to be live here for the next four hours. Uh, Roger Stone's going to be joining us. He obviously lives uh, right outside the area where the um, mass shooting took place yesterday in Florida. And he has family in law enforcement that he doesn't name, uh, that he has great sources with. Uh, and so we're going to be uh, having uh, exclusive information for you coming up, including some of the top leaders in state government are going to be popping in uh, during the transmission today. Now, I want to be clear when I get into this information that I'm not saying the local sheriff's department or the police department is involved in a cover-up. Uh, I am not saying that this isn't a real shooting. Uh, I am not saying that the bizarre-looking reported shooter who looks crazier than a you-know-what house rat might not have been involved and might not have carried out these operations. Can we put drudgereport.com up on screen for folks so people can see the reported suspect, please. Thank you. FBI was warned. And we know that the FBI had been called on him for his threats on YouTube and other statements, and nothing was done. Trump came out and, and, and tweeted yesterday and pointed out that there's all these warnings. Why is, aren't things done over and over again? There's warnings with these people. The media, CNN, Salon, all the Soros-run groups, said that Trump was blaming the victims. No, he was saying the victims are saying they warned. Why weren't they listened to? It's the opposite. So it, it, it's by extension the media is blaming the victims by saying Trump is. No one ever proposed that. No one ever said that. No one ever floated that. But that's the alchemy of CNN and MSNBC and others and, and, and Salon. We've got clips of all of them. Taking what Trump said that made total sense, misconstruing it, and then bringing up a topic that didn't exist before. Now, that said, the reason I pointed out that I'm not saying that local law enforcement's involved in a cover-up, I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying we have a very credible Houston reporter that's the head sports reporter for KHOU uh, out of Houston who was there covering baseball tryouts. And he ran over there to cover it, and he talked to witnesses that reported hearing two shooters. I've looked it up. We've got the videos. And one particular witness we're going to play the video of coming up after we have the president's response that just happened about 45 minutes ago or about 35 minutes ago. We have credible witnesses and one particular witness that said, I knew the shooter or the supposed shooter, Mr. Cruz. He's walking down the hall. He doesn't have a gun. She says, oh, it's not you. I thought you'd be the mass shooter. Everybody thought you'd be the mass shooter because he was kind of the perfect cutout or, or patsy if that's happened. And, and she hears shots going off down the hall and he looks dumbfounded. He looks poleaxed. He looks uh, like he's been struck by a bolt of lightning. Like, huh? A good looking girl's talking to me. So he has all the characteristics of being some type of autism spectrum individual. And you look at that thousand yard stare right there who knows? Was he involved? Maybe. But just like we had all the telltale signs of Vegas, and just like that all turned out to be a lie, we now have the huge news on Infowars.com. This is an exclusive in news other than KHOU because KHOU covered it, said it was coming up at 10 o'clock with an interview, and they never aired it, but the reporter put it out on his Twitter. So this is big. She knew the shooter, thought he'd be the one doing the shooting. The, 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 the reported shooter. So 
That is massive information. And we're going to play those clips right now. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to get into the president's response and more. We're going to open the phones up and get your take on this, particularly uh, folks that are nearby the Douglas uh, High School uh, shooting there uh, in Florida. So we're going to be looking at every, every facet of this. Also, I've seen a bunch of headlines, biggest Massacre, biggest shooting in Florida history. That oh, This is 17 dead. The Pulse nightclub uh, in Orlando was more than 50. And, and, of course, that doesn't take away from the dead or the wounded or the families and how terrible this is and our hearts go out to them. It's just that with a history of cover-ups and a history of patsies being protected by criminal rogue groups uh, and the history of the Democrats staging false flag events, CNN staging fake news, they're very famous for that, staging Scud missile attacks on Riyadh that never happened from on top of their Atlanta center with blue screens, uh, the babies in the incubators being thrown out and the, uh, to get us into the Iraq war in 1990. None of that was true. That's been declassified to be fraudulent. So we have to look at each event to see if they're lying about the event to see if they're covering it up. Is it totally fake? Is it real, but there's others involved? Or maybe a mentally ill person was wound up and allowed to take action. And so by, by uh, knowing and doing nothing, it makes you an accomplice. When you've got CIA and globalists all over TV saying, you better not send this memo to the American people about what's the corruption in the FBI, or there'll be massacres. And then you've got Republicans that are getting shot and attempted massacres. It's, 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 I've been saying, I think there'll be mass attacks on schools to be blamed on Trump. I mean, this is, this is all they've got left. So it, I'm not saying it's a false flag, but you've got witnesses of other shooters and that the shooter didn't have a gun and that he wasn't doing this. The person they tell us is the shooter. And then you don't have that being a bigger issue with this credible witness who's a senior in the high school that says she knew him and thought it would be him doing it, but it wasn't him doing it. And the fact that the reporter thinks it's huge news, but it doesn't air on the news that night. He mentions it's coming up. He has the interview, and then he has to put it out on Twitter himself. We need to get Matt Musil on the program, on the broadcast, 10-4 immediately. We need to get him on now. So we're trying to get reach out to him and Alexa Meadnick. So let's go ahead and play first the reporter earlier live on KHOU. And then he's saying again for the news coming up, they got to get all the interviews packaged and satellited back to, to Houston. He's saying we're going to have this incredible interview. They didn't air it. Uh, but then he did on his own Twitter. That right there. But this is very newsworthy. And this hasn't been picked up anywhere. I thought it'd be all over the place by this morning. Our people tweeted it out last night. They were all exhausted. I was going to drive in at like eight at night. And I said, do. He's like, well, I go, what are you up to? Because I'm sleeping on the couch for 30 minutes. I said, go home to your wife. We'll cover it tomorrow. I didn't care if everybody else scooped us on this. I figured it would have been covered. It didn't get covered. Daria's texting me at one of the producers at 8 a.m. saying, we haven't covered this. Have you seen this? So thank God she did. Then Kit Daniels put a story out on it. They don't want this getting out. It's on Infowars.com and Newswars.com, a Kit Daniels article with all the video right now. Video, second shooter reported in Florida massacre. Here is the sports reporter uh, who was in Miami for baseball tryout coverage uh, reporting, and then we'll show you the actual report they don't want you to see. They're all in shock. Let me just tell you this. We just spoke with a former student, Aletza Medick. She actually walked down the hall with the accused shooter, Nicholas Cruz, after she heard shots fired. She said, hey, Nicholas, this is what she told me on camera. We will have it for a 10 o'clock show. She said, hey, I just heard shots fired. I'm surprised it wasn't you. Just kidding like that. He had this reaction, what? And then they parted ways. She said, I heard more shots after that. She thinks there was a second shooter. That's the first we've heard of that, but she believes there was actually a second. Okay, now let's go to this as we go to break. Uh, here she is later, but this didn't show up on the news. He had to put it on Twitter. Here it is. Um, I actually was in the bathroom at the moment, and I had came back to my classroom, and I knocked on the door, and the fire alarm went off, and... Um, principal came on the speaker and just said everyone needs to evacuate right now so that's what we did uh as i was going down the stairs i heard a couple shots fired everyone was freaking out saying that it was a gun and um as we were walking the whole class together i actually was speaking to the suspect nicholas cruz and as i was speaking to him 
he seemed very I don't I don't know what the word I want to say is but um he was trouble in middle school so I kind of joked to him about it and said I'm surprised you weren't the one who did it and he just gave me a huh so uh that's really, really what happened you were walking down the hall he had already fired at that time yes sir with him weren't you scared in the moment, I wasn't because there was obviously definitely another shooter involved, but... Oh, you think he was not the only one? No, definitely not. Why do you say that? We'll be right back. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. He goes to jail! He goes to jail! He goes to jail! If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We're drinking the conditioning! InfoWars comes to mind. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Well, there's a lot of controversy around this network about Alex Jones. Google is being accused of hiding negative stories about Hillary and her campaign by changing its algorithm to bury stories like the Clinton body count story. That's according to website InfoWars. It sounds like it's confirmed there are at least two shooters with fully automatic weapons. Dr. Martin Luther King has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. JFK was shot from the back and the front. It was almost as if there were a planned implosion. It just pancaked. They took the babies out of incubators and left the children to die on the cold I think this is a national security imperative. We have clear things that we do not understand how they work operating in areas that we can't control. UFOs. Is this global governance at last? Is it one world? The central bank is in charge. Israel claims the attack was accidental, but some former U.S. naval officers say it was on purpose. They describe the day's action as part of a continuing cover-up. Russian intelligence compiled a dossier on Mr. Trump during visits to Moscow. Russian scum! He denied everything. He called it all fake news. And he accused CNN of being fake news. This is a national emergency. If they kill Trump or remove Trump, it will cause a massive civil war in this country. This is a FEMA high level of it. We are at war with Russia. Are you aware that Mr. Stone also stated publicly that he was in direct communication with Julian Assange and WikiLeaks? The White House and the President are citing InfoWars. They can shut us down. You're next. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. It's Alex Jones. Carnivore, we have a small bottle and a big bottle, all very affordable, 33% off, out of the gates. The thing I am so ultra excited about, because I like a high protein diet and I love meat. Everybody knows, even if you chew well, it has problems in the lower GI tract, the colon, the, the upper and lower intestines. And if you get the right enzymes, as you get older, you have less and less natural digestive enzymes. It's why you get more and more heartburn and stomach aches and things as you get older you can't eat rich foods you could eat before is because you don't produce the same amount of enzymes. This is next level beyond probiotic. I've been taking this for two months as it was getting prepared, it was getting ready, and man, I'm telling you, it is incredible. Normally you eat a big steak for a day or two, you're tired. Doesn't happen anymore with this and never have any issues. You know, ate that 20 ounce ribeye, taking family out, you know, once every couple weeks for a fancy dinner. It's called Carnivore Digestive Enzymes. Relieves occasional indigestion, supports normal digestion and macronutrients absorption. Helps digest high protein foods. People that are on these uh, ketosis diets, and Atkins type diets and paleo diets. It's, it's just amazing. Made in the USA, non-GMO. It's delivered directly into the stomach where it's needed with the digestive enzymes that your body needs with the acids to do this. Please go to InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, and read about this. Introducing Carnivore, the all-new enzyme formula at InfoWarsStore.com. Free shipping and 33% off out of the gates. Man, I used to eat a big steak and didn't feel tired. Eat one now, I get tired. Start taking this. Boom, ate a big ribeye. Boom, eat two of these, eat one of these. It's incredible. Digest it better. Aren't tired the next day. Don't get heartburn. Don't get a stomachache. And that's what the government even lets you say about this digestive enzyme. So carnivore is next level. InfoWarsLive.com. InfoWarsStore.com. It's the big umbrella site, but InfoWarsLive.com takes you right to it. Carnivore. InfoWarsStore.com. InfoWarsLive.com. Or 888 253 3139.